Welcome everybody, this is Universal Child, and I am here today to talk to you about uh, one of my favorite games, Bayonetta. Uh, this game came out in 2010, well of course 2010, January 5th, and um, it's definitely kicking the year off right. Um, definitely gave us something to look forward to as far as just the rest of the year. Just, it's really just put the bar, set the bar very high, very high for uh, hack and slash games and just adventure, uh, action adventure games, period, with its uh, over the top moves, uh, torture attacks, it's, it's, it's fluid movement, it's full blown, the control, which is just one thing that I'm just really impressed with is just how much control you have over Bayonetta. You'll be doing things that are um, a little questionable sometimes, but uh, definitely, uh, you know, definitely you'll be out there doing something you didn't think that you could do in the game. Um, let's go ahead and talk about the, uh, the story of Bayonetta real quick. Basically, she's an Umbran witch who uh, was sealed away for 500 years. And uh, as she was sealed away for the 500 years, when she was awakened, and she's trying to figure out her past, and her friends and her foes here, they're going to help her uh, pretty much figure that whole scenario out. Um, she's also looking for a stone, and um, with the help of our my favorite character, Jean, there, who is the I call her, she's the Agent Smith of the uh, the entire game. She's really she's the opposite of Bayonetta. And um, you'll see in later the, the rest of the review, she gets, I mean, those fights are crazy. Um, let's, let's talk another thing, let's talk about the graphics. Now, I own the PS2 version, so it caught a lot of flack as far as it being a bad port, but um, you're not going to see too much, you're gonna, it's a little screen tearing, and, um, but it, it's, it's tiny, you're not going to notice it. Unless you just see that ribbon really going back and forth in her dress like that. You have to really nitpick to find the faults in the game. You really have to be that picky. Um, I love um, the voice acting with uh, Bayonetta and Sean, um, especially these two. Um, they definitely play off each other pretty well, very well. And um, their, you know, their English accents, they just sound... Uh, they sound natural, which is kind of wild. And um, they just sound natural. So that's pretty good. I mean, that's very good actually. It definitely, it definitely puts you in the shoes of an action heroine, which is a, uh, which is rare as far as the things that Bayonetta can do. Uh, we've seen Lara Croft, we've seen um, uh, Nico from uh, Heavenly Sword, but we have not seen uh, anything like Bayonetta. Bayonetta, uh, she's got a lot of attitude, and she really has uh, the moves to back it all up. As you can see, these bosses, I told you, they are, they're colossal. They are full-blown skyscrapers. They're just huge, huge, huge bosses. Huge bosses. And, um, I mean, they're, they're, they're enormous. And they almost look as if you can't really combo into them, but you can. You can combo these guys. Like, you can know, combo these guys, you can pull them into the climax mode, which is, which is, um, another selling point for the game as far as just, uh, like a fatality, if you, if you think about it like that, that's what it, you know, it's kind of like. This is just a fatality. Uh, let's talk about. So we talked about the sound. We talked about the control. Let's talk about the um, just entertaining factor. Um, how much fun is it to play? You're gonna play Bayonetta for a uh, a long time. Um, I didn't think I was gonna play his game that much. I knew I was gonna like it when it came out because I do like games like this. I knew I was gonna like it, but I did not expect to really be out there and just, I mean, it took over my, uh, my, some of my Street Fighter time, which is very rare. So, I mean, the game really has, it really has, um, an entertainment, an entertainment value that's just on par with just some of the greatest titles that you played on, um, PS3, PS3, and PS4, just, it's, it's actually made its mark on the game. It does break some of the, um, it does break some of the hack slash with, uh, as you can see here, one of the, uh, Route 666, which is a um, kind of a toss up to, or a homage to uh, Outrun, and also the whole L1, L2 during that cutscene, during the stage, you get the original Outrun music during that stage. That's very cool. Um, let's talk about. Uh, we talked about graphics, we talked about the playability. I mean, open up other, other replayability. Okay, that, there's another thing. I almost forgot. Replay. Bayonetta, the reason I play this game over and over again, for one, it was very fun. I mean, I ate a lot of fun. But the game definitely uh, boasts exploration that you wouldn't think it boasted. 
I mean, you're going to be uh, running around looking for a lot of things to get a lot of different weapons. Um, weapons, amulets, all kinds of stuff. So, I mean, the developers really put a lot of time into making... I mean, they set a perfect pace for the game. Like, the game is, is perfectly paced, if that makes any sense. It really is perfectly paced. Um, good fight, the puzzles aren't, you know, nothing mind them, nothing mind them, nothing to take away from the action. Nothing to take away from the action. It is not that kind of game, it is not Zelda. You are there to kick a lot of ass, and that is what you're here to do. Using Witch Time, and just insanely powerful. All the weapons are powerful. They're all powerful, every last one of them. Some are more powerful than others, as you can see, but I'm telling you. They really, um, they really hold their own. Um, you have your gallery mode, you know, once you beat it, once you beat the game, you have gallery mode, so you have, uh, 3D models, you got your music, you have, I think it's a, you know, 3D concept, all kind of different things, so, tons of weapons, tons of amulets, as I said, you can also make items via, like, a witch stirring her cauldron using your art analog stick, the right analog. Um, books to collect, weapons to collect, records to collect, secret bosses, Bodon's weapon shop where you get weapons, accessories, everything. And very, very cleverly uh, placed Alfine uh, positions, which are basically the challenge, uh, challenge sections that you go to to boost up your health and your magic. Now, you need to go through these things because you're not going to make it, you can play it on normal. But you are not going to make it, if you are trying to get all, all the things that this game has to offer, you're not going to make it if you do not do at least, I mean, you need to do them all. They're, and they're not that bad. They do Some are a little more tedious than others, but, you know, that's for you to figure out how to get around them. But they're definitely worth it because the bosses do, uh, it's just the, the enemies, period, they will pose a threat to you. Um... As I said, um, there's that space area that I was telling about. Like, it was a little lengthy that this particular part here. It definitely, yeah, it's a boss rush, kind of. So, you know, I mean, I kind of because I told you the story is, uh, it's it, it's funny. It's it's kind of it's almost comical, but it's, you're not playing this for a story. Trust me, you are playing it for everything that you're seeing here. Just balls to the wall action. Um, the graphics are phenomenal. The sound is incredible. The soundtrack is incredible. She's not bad looking to boot. It's just one of those things that you just say, you know, this is, I mean, this is, pre this is pretty much why you own uh, 360 on the PS2. These, these are those reasons. We have first person shooters that tell us this, and now we have an action adventure game that lets us know, blam, this is what gaming is all about. Um, I love this game. Um, if I had to rate it, I would definitely give the perfect score. There's a low time, but I can totally get over that. I kid you not, I can get over that quickly. Um, I hope you enjoyed this review. Uh, once again, I'm Universal Charlie. This is my first review, so um, any suggestions, by all means, they are more than welcome. And uh, check us out at levelgrind.com. I will see you guys there.